<laughs> I'm having multiple oh, are you fucking kidding me moments. Sorry about the profanity, but I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Here's the first one. Well, well, okay, first we'll start out with a positive, or maybe we should end on a positive, not a negative. But the positive is 2,000 people have watched one of my videos. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Thanks for your support. I appreciate it, seriously. Um, never thought I'd see the day. Uh, Obama appoints Monsanto's vice president as senior advisor to the commissioner at the FDA. And look at the other uh, Obama appointments where, you know, these guys were Monsanto and other corporate stooges that have, uh, you know, the revolving door alive and well in the Obama administration. And it's gotten to the point where, you know, people just can't defend Obama anymore. To the point where they're saying, hey, just because I'm anti-Ron Paul doesn't mean I'm pro-Obama. Well, really, who are you going to vote for then? Who, who else? Is there any other, uh, you know, people that aren't for corporatism? Right? Because I'm not against corporations. I am a capitalist. Make no mistake. I believe in the capitalist system. Having capital is what's made this country great. And being able to participate in capital is what's made this country great. But, you know, these corporations that want to just, you know, have corporate control and create monopolies, that's what, you know, via the government, using the government and lobbying with the government to put other businesses out of business so that they can give you crappier products, right, charge more and give you less, right, and then, you know, ride roughshod over your rights and ride roughshod over the Constitution, throw people out of their house in the wintertime, well, and then people are amazed. Ron Paul doesn't want to throw people out of their house. Ron Paul doesn't want to cut your benefits. Ron Paul, well, he wants to get you off the benefits, but he doesn't want to take you and throw you into the street, right? There's videos to show that, and people are amazed. No, he doesn't want to end Head Start right away. Right? But we need to transition. And how we're and the only guy talking about how we're going to fund this is Ron Paul. How are we going to fund? We're going bankrupt. It's pretty simple. All right, let's see here. Did, oh, information on how to become a delegate. This is crucial information. Click that link. I mean, if you don't already know, you know, take yourself to school for a second and learn how to become a delegate because that's the way we do this, right? Um, there's a v great video talking about how they mock and ignore Ron Paul to this day. Um, and it's, you know, the link, steal this video. Steal it and post it around. Uh, let's see here, what else we got here? Obama's are proposed government should infiltrate social network sites, chat rooms, and message boards. <coughs> um, unbelievable. You know, wrote a paper about it that you can read, right? And then, you know, get us conspiracy theorists off the net. Dangerous. Exposing the lies. That's dangerous. Right? Get, <laughs> stopping the war. That's dangerous. People saying, oh, you know, they've got 20% uranium enrichment. They're so ignorant that they could try to spin that story. So they're going to have a nuke. You know how hard it is to get from 20% to 40%, and then from 40% to 80%, and then from 80% to 90%, and then that last 5% to 95%, and you need 95% enrichment to have a nuke. Simple as that. They're nowhere near 95%. They're at 20%, which is what they need to run their nuclear plants, which is stupid. They shouldn't be, I mean, cold fusion. I already made a video about that, but the bottom line is, the you know, if they're going to get a nuke, or, you know, any of these fundamentalist jihadists that they're, you're so scared they're going to get weapons of mass destruction, they'll steal it, or they'll, you know, buy it, probably, from some of these, you know, because we have not kept a very good accounting of all of our nuclear weapons and all of our nuclear material, I mean, that's just, that's just, that's the truth, especially when the Soviet Union broke up, there's a lot of material that went unaccounted for. That's the more likely way. Right now, the I A I E A I A I can't remember the, the, the initials. Anyway, the regulatory commission or the regulatory uh, group that's watching very carefully what the Iranians are doing are saying, no, they're, they're, they're not making a bomb and all their stuff's accounted for and they are a signatory on the non-proliferation, unlike some other countries. Anyhow, Ron Paul all the way, guys. And here, oh, how about these hot chicks up in uh, <laughs> in uh, New Hampshire talking about why don't they talk about drug policy? And again, Portugal decriminalizes drugs and what happens? 50% decline since they decriminalized, right? 50% decline. It works. Prohibition does not work. And then let's see here, a couple of other spirited debates that have been going on elsewhere. People saying, well, you know, Ron Paul, no matter what you say, he's a constitutional fundamentalist. I'm a constitutional fundamentalist. You say it like it's a bad thing. The Constitution is the law of the land. 
period. Period. Right? Making all these laws and agencies that try to get around the Constitution, this is how we got in the mess we're in. Right? The Constitution is the law of the land. I mean, if you don't understand that, man, you need a new country. Go find a country that where the Constitution, where the, you know, where the, it's a nation of men, not laws. Our Constitution is the law of the land. Simple as that. There's, I mean, there's, that's it. There's no, there's no more argument than that. And the Constitution is a good thing, not a bad thing. Restraining the government from doing all kinds of naughty things. Right? Uh, there's a link to this guy named John Bush, uh, down in uh, Austin, where he was, the city council down there uh, had banned him. And uh, Anyway, you can watch the link if you, if you want to. But the point being is that Ron Paul is also pointing out the gun in the room. And this guy got in trouble for pointing out the gun in the room. Right? Government by force is... You know, not the way we were supposed to be governed, right? Self governance. And then people saying, uh, okay, and this is a metaphor for the bigger picture, right? Milk, right? Raw milk. People are saying, oh, the, it, the milk issue is a big, complicated issue. The milk industry is a complex issue. It's not complex. A farmer milks a cow, I buy the milk. The way it's been done for thousands of years. I want to contract with a local farmer to buy raw milk. I'm not allowed. Because the government knows so much better than me, right? It's this is not difficult stuff. This is not complex. You know, you know the dairy industry is happy to have the FDA raiding small-time farmers to keep them, you know, keep competition out of the marketplace. Happy to have it happen, right? The dairy industry, there, it's you know, they produce shit, literally shit-tainted milk with cow from cows that have pussy udders that are diseased because it's factory farming. And so they have to pasteurize. There's, I can't think of a reason why they need to homogenize other than people are lazy. But like even cream top milk is hard to get. Okay, because sometimes, yeah, pasteurization could be beneficial. But it also, I noticed that, you know, I can't drink pasteurized homogenized milk. It, I can't. I am very lactose intolerant in that case. But I drink raw milk, I have no problem. So I would like to contract and be able to buy raw milk. There, I mean, like I said, and this is a metaphor for many other things. Right? It's not. This is not a complex issue. Com bureaucrats and politicians always try to make it sound like it's so complex in politics. And politics. No, bullshit. Straight up, you you want to buy raw milk? You should be able to buy raw milk. You want to contract for hemp? You you should be able to buy hemp products. And when I talk about hemp, I'm not talking about marijuana. But even that marijuana, what's the problem? Right? Grandma wants marijuana so that she can cure her cancer using you know hemp oil. Not just smoking it, because smoking it probably isn't going to cure your cancer, but hemp oil has been proven to cure cancer, right? And, oof, don't want to talk about that. Okay, and, you, I mean, there's tons of links, tons and tons of links. I'll put the links in there. You make your own decisions, right? Because that sounds like crazy talk. But I, I want to buy hemp seeds from American farmers. Can't do it. I mean, it goes on and on and on. That's, you know, just farm products, you know, other pro government regulation is out of control. And it benefits corporations, not us. There's not, nothing difficult to understand here. The government has been hijacked by corporations. Ron Paul wants to put an end to this, start, stop the loot, and start prosecuting, and they hate him for it. Simple. All right, get out there. Oh, and here's the last, you know, are you fucking kidding me moment. Are you fucking kidding me? You really think Romney's, you know, ahead in the polls in South Carolina. Have you been to South Carolina? I have. Small town, small town mentality. They, they have, you know, their big cities aren't that really that big. It's small town. And I don't say that in a derogatory way. Small town is a good thing. They have community. These people talk to each other. They know each other, right? They don't need to be told about Mitt Romney. They already know about Mitt Romney. They've been put out of work by Mitt Romney. But still, oh, I'd like to, I'd like to have him for president. He closed our steel mill. <laughs> right? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Again, they're going to try and make it a three-way tie. Again, it's vote fraud. Again, you can't ignore it. Go out there and work hard and expose the fraud. Right, Gingrich, I can actually believe down there because he's a Gingrich is a Southern boy. Right, but Mitt Romney, are you kidding me? Right, and Ron Paul, he's now surging. He's in third place. They're always going to say he's in second or third place. They're never going to admit that he's in first place, even when he has ten times as many people at his events as the other guys do. Anyway, get out there and go to work. I've got links galore over here. People are going to be shocked and amazed about the hemp oil thing. Right. Just if some of you are, some of you are, it's old news. But anyway, lots of links. Use the links. Share the links. Right? Get out there, and and 
I have been told that people have changed their minds or people have gone out. And see, this is the thing. I didn't change their minds. They went out and decided to take a look. Right? They went out and did their own research. And when they started doing their own research and got you know past the media lies and bias and bullshit that they you know try to put in their minds about how Ron Paul is going to have people out in the street starving the next day, turns out not true. Turns out he has a sane budget plan. Turns out he really does want to end the wars, and he's been saying this for for decades. Turns out he does have sane drug policy, and he's been saying that for decades. Turns out he's been talking about sound money and Austrian economics for a long, long time, and he has predicted everything that has come to pass and what's going to come to pass. You want to stave it off? You've got one candidate. His name's Ron Paul.